Welcome back. Time now for some 814 Good brought to us by McMullen Furniture in Owl. Tune up. Rebecca, what do you got? Jordan, get ready to smile. A law okay. office in Tennessee has a new member of the team, and he makes sure he shows up to work every single day dressed to impress with his signature bow tie. Take a look. When walking into Montpelier de la Rodolfo Law Firm, you may be greeted by an unusual junior associate. When he first got here, I was like, oh my God, what are we going to do with this thing wandering around our office? But now I don't know what we would do without him wandering around our office. Meet Wally, the Wallaby. We interviewed him. We thought he'd be a perfect fit for our law firm and uh, picked him up. After visiting Australia, Dale Montpelier says he wanted to bring home a kangaroo, but that was too big. So a wallaby was a perfect miniature compromise. Thought they'd make uh, a great pet, especially being a lawyer. You need to think, you know, to be a good lawyer, you got to have a good kangaroo behind you. Wally made a huge impression on his co-workers his very first day. Dale had hidden the fact that, from me that he was getting a wallaby, so I had no idea this animal was going to be here when I walked in the front door. And, he came hopping around that corner behind us and I exclaimed out, what the fudge? <laughs> He's a little mischievous. During a deposition I had, he took my shoelace completely out of one of my shoes. He loves to untie men's shoes. I don't know why he loves to untie shoes, but he loves it. And gluttonous. He has four bottles a day. He will naturally wean himself from that. Other than that, he's a lawnmower. He eats grass, and he eats more grass than you can imagine. But he's able to tilt the scale of happiness of those he meets. And the people that come to see me are in very hard times, generally speaking. And he'll just sit on their lap and sleep, and they can just rub his belly and rub his neck, and they are much calmer, much happier. You cannot write that, Jordan. That is such a great story. He just said that that wallaby was in there with him during a uh, <laughs> deposition. And took his shoelace. And took his shoelace. You can't even, that's in Tennessee. You can't <laughs> even have a cell phone in a Pennsylvania courtroom. But they're walking around with wallabies in there going nuts down there in hey, Tennessee. Hey, thinking about it, maybe it was Zoom or virtual. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that might have been, he might have been in the office. Uh, I just I love. They just went behind that wallaby and stuffed it in a bag. Oh, I love when they say the lawyer's like, "Well, I went to Australia and I wanted to bring back a kangaroo, but I couldn't, so I got a wallaby." <laughs> the name oh, is very fitting, Wally the Wallaby, goodness. and we've got Otto the Ottoman. Wow, hmm. <laughs> that is a just a wild if story. That, but bug. When behind I said, every lawyer is a kangaroo, they say. <laughs> and did you see how he was petting him? Oh, I gosh. loved it, and Folks. the bottle feeding. That is it for us. It's time now for your 5 o'clock news.